please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Hey, cats, so I'm usually behind the camera, so let's do this. Truth or dare, bye. Truth or dare. Truth. Does England have a 4th of July? No. They do. Should vegetarians eat animal crackers? What? Truth or dare? Uh, dare. Okay, put out your arms for 10 seconds and close your eyes. 10 seconds. Have you ever stepped on the grass? No. Yeah. You have? No. You have Do you want to hear a ghost play? No. That's a spirit. Should vegetarians eat animal crackers? Yes. Mm. Happy birthday to you. It's not her birthday. Dare? Okay. Hit your best whip. True. Uh, have you ever stepped on the grass? Bears, beats, Battlestar, Ryan Chowdhury. Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to go sprint 10 yards. <laughs> have you ever stepped on the grass? <laughs> Does England have a 4th of July? No. Yes, they do. Anna July 5th. Anna oh, I'll follow you into the bathroom. Here we go. Tyler, come here. Should vegetarians eat animal crackers? What? Dare. Okay, I want you to stick out your arms and close your eyes for 10 seconds. Good job. Keep going. Bye bye. All right, cats, I dare you all to watch the rest of the show. Let's take it back to the host. Personally, I think it's just, you know, communicating with people and talking about it, having open conversations. I think that's one of the best ways um, you can spread it is just through talking to people. And I think mental health is an issue that is often discriminated against and something that people don't want to talk about and don't want to face. A lot of people who might have mental health issues don't even want to talk about it, but it's something that we need to, you know, adapt into our normal, you know, conversations and just make sure people are okay and that they're getting the help they need. Mental health affects so many people that it's kind of unfair to categorize them as different from other people. There is a huge majority of them out there and, you know, they're people. We all have struggles, we all face difficulties, and that's just one of them that they were you know, born with or developed. We don't understand it ourselves, so we kind of just misunderstand people in general. And I think it's important to know, like, what people are dealing with and um, how to approach your friends, your family. So it's important that you know so that maybe you could help them get help. If you know that somebody's going through something, you don't want to wait. 
the worst thing you can do is wait. Getting help could be, you know, really hard for people and it's understandable, you know, it's because something really personal, really, you know, deep and it's affected them, you know, it affects people a lot. I think it just does have to, have to happen organically. Often we try to force, you know, our beliefs or our opinions on other people or like how they should act or how they should go about change or whatever. Um, but I really do think it's up to the person to come to you. You're certainly not by yourself and there are a lot more people than you could ever imagine who would like to help you and nobody should nobody should have to go through that and you shouldn't have to put yourself through that and you're so much stronger than you could ever think you're definitely not alone you deserve to live a long full and happy life being mentally healthy doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time we're just here to help you and we want to help you so don't ever think that no one's there for you because just now we're here for you.